there was another movie that you made that really had an impact on me called uh, Making Love. You played uh, gay in that movie. Do you remember people trying to discourage you? This was 1982. Well, we shot it uh, in 80 or 81. Um, yeah, I mean, it had that role had been offered to everybody in Hollywood. Um, and everyone had turned it down because they felt that it would uh, hurt their career to play somebody gay. Uh, and yeah, there were a lot of people who said I shouldn't go near that. Um, my agent was not one of them. He said at the time that I was the one person in town because of my relationship with Ursula, which was all over the tabloids, that you know people knew that I was straight and I could get away with doing this. Um, but for me, none of that made any difference. For me, I read the script, and the first script that I read was much edgier than the script that ended up being shot. But um, And that's what I liked about it. They, they kind of whitewashed it a little bit uh, along the way, thinking that it would be... Uh, the edginess of it would turn the audience off, I guess. They sanitized it um, at the studio. But um, I had been offered a lot of really stupid movies at that point. Uh, and I was on the list for every movie in town. So I was going out and meeting all the big directors and reading all the big scripts that were going on because I'd been nominated for a Golden Globe for a uh, for movie movie, the first movie I had done. And Warner Brothers had offered me a huge contract, which I turned down. But um, I had been approached by pretty much everybody for every movie that was going on. The ones that I was being offered were really stupid. Um, they were movies about vampire bats invading small towns, uh, you know, cloaked in the idea that they were actually uh, inspiring people to support Native Americans, when in fact the movie was really about vampire bats or rogue bats. Anyway, those kind of movies I was being offered. So I, saw, I read this script and I said, well, you know, this is about something that's actually going on in the world that nobody wants to talk about. It's a real subject that's real in society. It's something that needs to be discussed and we need to start a conversation about this. Um, and so I, perhaps with some actor's hubris, went into it thinking that I could get away with it. Um, but it was a little early. It was still 10 years early, I think, for something like that. So it, it did have a, a, a major effect on my career. Uh, How so? Well, I never, uh, I didn't do another studio picture for 40 years. Uh, so the, I did uh, 80 for Brady two years ago with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, Sally Field, Rita Moreno, unbelievable cast. Uh, but that was the first time I was offered a movie by a studio since then. So, really? Yeah, it completely changed my career. Uh, it really impacted my life, as it, as it turns out, as a gay man who was divorcing his wife at that time. Uh-huh, interesting. That movie tore me to shreds. I'll bet, yeah. I was, uh, had to compose myself before leaving for a while. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, and I think it uh, was, even though it had a difficult storyline, I think it was really life-affirming for a lot of gay people. Without question. Now, I'm, to this day, Steve, not a week goes by when someone doesn't come up to me and say, God, thank you for making that film. Uh, changed my life, or it helped me talk to my parents about my sexuality, or whatever. But I, wherever I go to this day, and I'm extraordinarily proud of that. I mean, yeah, it had a, yeah, it didn't have the greatest effect on my career, feature film career, but it did have, uh, on the other side of that equation, it had a great, great uh, positive effect on a huge community. Thank you. <laughs>